The idea of floating away into the darkness of space is a terrifying thought. A thought that would definitely cross every astronaut's mind while spacewalking. This kind of situation is normally seen depicted on the big screen in movies like Gravity. But what would happen if you really did float off into space? Well, space agencies like NASA do have safety protocols to prevent float-away astronaut situations from happening. When an astronaut steps outside of the International Space Station, for example, they are attached to the spacecraft at all times with a retractable 26-meter braided steel tether, which has a tensile strength of 1,100 pounds. But if this strong tether was to fail, the astronaut can then engage the safer, it is a small emergency jetpack system worn during a spacewalk and provides free flying mobility to return to the space station. If however the safer failed or the astronaut wearing it was unconscious and could not operate the jetpack, then the only hope would be that the other members of the space station could start a rescue mission. But this rescue effort would be tricky as there is currently no spacecraft that could be used to retrieve the floataway astronaut. So if the tether snapped, the jetpack malfunctioned, and your astronaut space buddies failed to rescue you, then you would float off in the direction according to whatever forces were acting on you when you broke loose. You would be completely weightless, potentially spinning, and no amount of kicking or doggy paddling would save you. The Earth's gravity would trap you in an orbit around the planet, and if your spacesuit was still sealed, you would have to experience this terrifying fate for up to 8 hours, as you wait for your oxygen supplies to run out. However, if your suit had become damaged during the incident that caused you to float away in the first place, your trip to space would be massively cut short. Exposure to outer space would cause you to become unconscious within 15 seconds. Your blood and other fluids would boil because there is no air pressure. Your boiling fluids would cause your body to swell up, perhaps to twice the normal size, and all of this would happen within a few minutes. Another possibility could be that if you floated away from your station at the right angle and velocity, then you might even be set for a collision course with Earth. But you wouldn't make it anywhere near the surface because the Earth's atmosphere would cause you to burn up on entry, just like a falling meteor. Thankfully nobody currently has ever had to experience this terrifying fate of being a float away astronaut, and even though there have been some close callers in the past, the astronaut's safety equipment has prevented a situation like this from happening. Agencies like NASA are confident that a float away astronaut will not happen, and I for one, hope they are right. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then remember to hit that like button and subscribe for much much more to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.